I even paid homage to um, Lisa Loring when she does the little shuffle um, reference. So little things like that just to show that there's respect there, but also it's um, sometimes you need your character to, to loosen up and, and stray from oneself. Tim trusted me because we, we, had, we had a discussion about it, and I said, oh, I'll choreograph it. I'm not a dancer, and I don't choreograph things. So I said that, and I remember leaving the meeting thinking, oh, interesting. But I, I, I was so protective of Wednesday that I think it would have been weird if, if I didn't handle that sort of thing. And, and we chose the song together. We chose a cramp song, which was really, really exciting for me because we both love them. And, uh, you know, I, I just I did what I could, especially someone who's not naturally a skilled dancer. I think it's always charming when someone kind of is, is really passionate about something or lets loose like that, especially for someone who doesn't really show much. So I think for me, it was just a matter of, uh, you know, maybe I, I watch goth kids dancing in clubs in the 80s and try to throw some of that stuff in there. I said, little girl, if you don't pick right now, where you want to eat? I promise you going to be single. I mean, in the heartbeat, you got your Chipotle and McDonald's and Wendy's and Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Jenna Ortega and this is my official yes day where I have to say yes to absolutely every activity that is presented to me. Look at them lips, bro. Damn. I'm oh, not no. attracted to you. Oh, that's what this is for. <laughs> Sorry, I've never, I've never done this before. Did you know Tim Burton prior to this? No, I had, I had no connection to the man. <laughs> <laughs> I had no connection to the man, um, and I never asked. What do you have to say? I want to hear. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Oh my perfect. god, I love you so much. I just watch you. I'm stuck in the middle all the time. I watch you at Disney Channel. I just love you so much. I love you so much. Oh my god. Why the fuck you say that? Why the fuck you talking to me? Like, what the fuck you saying? I'm stuck in the middle. You need to get some new acting. Like, I can't fucking say you with that nasty ass acting. I can't fucking act. Everyone's fucking better than you. Everyone's better than you. I can't fucking say you on that fucking channel. Just fuck over there. You don't even belong. I just need to I belong. Ma'am, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to slow down because I can't hear what you're trying to say. I'm bored. Anyway, uh, can you add my sister? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Be my favorite Wednesday. Who is Jenna Ortega wearing in these pictures? Wait, 
She has two pairs of headphones on. This is actually kind of tough because she rarely shows the outside ear cup, but I know that shape. This picture is a dead giveaway. You see that hole with like the gold ring around it. And here you can see the pairing power and USB type C port. Those are obviously Sony WH-1000XF4s. It's a good pick, good headphones. Did you notice the distinct but subtle difference between Jenna Ortega's Wednesday's braids and Christina Ricci's? Makeup and hair designer Tara McDonald told me that when Jenna showed up to set in these bangs, they knew it would be the perfect way to modernize her character and give her an edgy French fringe. After wetting down her fringe, they would work a serum through it and blow dry it under with a round brush. Then they used a matte paste to give it texture and hold. The raven dancing, they pinned the braids against her head in a milkmaid style that Tara said was partially influenced by Alexa Chung. Here's how they made Jenna Ortega's skin look half dead, yet somehow fresh and modern in Wednesday. Hair and makeup designer Tara McDonald wanted to stay true to the original Wednesday with a pale foundation. She chose a super sheer skin tint to show off Jenna Ortega's natural freckles that you can see here. They wanted to make her a young and modern Wednesday for this generation. To sculpt her cheeks, Tara told me that they used two powders, Max Sculpt, a soft taupe matte, and Max Shadowy, a deep brown matte. You can buy them individually or they come in the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape contour palettes. Sculpt is in the light medium and shadowy is in the medium dark. I, I'm not a dancer. I don't do any of that. I've never, I have no experience in that field. The, a week before we shot the dance, he um, chose the song Goo Goo Muck by The Cramps. And The Cramps is one of my favorite bands ever. So I was super excited, super pumped. It was on my episode four playlist. And uh, he came to my trailer about two days before we shot it and said, Hey, Jenna, so I know you said that you wanted to choreograph this, self cause I uh, this yourself because I refuse to see a choreographer. He was like, I know you got it. You've been working on it. I'm not even worried about it. I trust you. And I said, oh, yeah, you know, it's all so good. And I had not gone over it at all. <laughs> you had so, no plan. No. I mean, I, I was doing cello that week, fencing that week. I just didn't have time. You do a lot in the show. There's a lot going on. On top of that, you're like going to choreograph your own dance? Yeah. I, oh, my God. I was kicking myself. I, I felt like such a fool. And yeah, I didn't sleep for two days. I watched videos of Susie and the Banshees. Really? Uh, Denny Levon. Just anything that I could get my hands on. And then on the day, I thought, all right, well, I'm just let's just do see. It. Let's just see what happens. I actually almost stopped acting when I was younger to pursue soccer instead. Really? Yeah, because it was that position? much of a thing. I was uh, any position forward and occasionally mid. Okay. I love you. Sorry, that might be disrespectful, but that is my name for her, because she's my wife. Anyway, I'm sorry. The, yes. <laughs> sorry, I look at you, I get so, I get so, I, my heart. Waiting for me, we were just kids when we fell. Yeah, I'm just watching a movie and going to bed, okay? Jenna Ortega and Percy Hines wipe behind the scenes of their new romantic comedy movie. I'm ready for their stone. I'm curious. Favorite Halloween costume ever was being roadkill. You get hit by a car? Yeah. Bitch on a fire. Somebody. My girl looks like Wednesday Adams. Hide your back, she likes to stab down. Did you notice Jenna Ortega blinking at all during the Wednesday series? I literally couldn't find one scene of her blinking through the whole show. You can't tell me that's not weird. But Jenna herself said this whole not blinking thing was not in the script. It wasn't until Tim Burton noticed she had added that detail herself that he ended up liking it so much he asked her to keep doing it through the whole series. Did you know that? Follow me for more.